uh, with Phil. All right. Um, so I got a question about um, kind of changing culture in the workplace. So we're seeing a lot of um, kind of rising wokeism type stuff within our workplace and the culture is, uh, uh, of the company as a whole is starting to change. And I'm wondering if you have any advice on like when to speak up, when not to, when is it time to leave? You know, what, like, how, how, like, like how do you frame those decisions and, and, and that kind of thing? I mean, it's a really, I think it's a really uh, difficult situation to be in. Um, and it, and the answer to all those questions is, in a sense, it depends, right? It depends on um, how senior you are within the company. It depends on how confident you are in your position in the company. It depends on, um, uh, the, you know, how, how much conflict you're willing to, to engage in. And then, um, you know, if this leads to you having to leave the company, how, how confident are you in, in being able to find something new? Um, I think the more, more, the more senior you are in a company, the more it is important to speak up, the, the more you are part of shaping the, co the company culture. Uh, it, whereas if you're junior, if you're, right, if you're just at an entry-level position or something like that, the culture is just there. You, you, you're just participating in it or not, and you can decide to leave or not. But it's, it's going to be very difficult for you to help shape it. But if you're, if you're senior, you've been there a long time, or you're in a position where you've got a lot of people reporting to you, and if you're, part of your job is to help shape a corporate culture, senior management should want to know your opinion about what's going on. And of course, there's a way to deal with it. And I think that the appropriate way to deal with it is to go up the chain within the culture and, and within the company and to, to let your boss know, hey, I, you know, I, I think this is, this is inappropriate. I think this is um, uh, damaging to the corporate culture in the long run. It's damaging to our ability to do business in the long run. This is too political, or this is just wrong. I just, I just, I can't, I can't enforce this with my employees because I, I, I just don't think it's right. Um, and then, depending on how they respond, you decide on how to, how much to push and how much to push it upwards. Uh, I think at the end, if it gets so bad as that you expect it to participate in activities or participate in a uh, in enforcing something that goes against your values uh, th then you have to consider to le leaving and then the, the, the part of the big question is where do you go in in a world in which corporate culture is changing like this I, I, I don't think it's uniform I, I certainly think some places are worse than others um, I don't think all senior management are bought into this um, so so I'm sure they are better places out there, but that doesn't mean you can get there, right? You, you can find a job there. So, so it definitely is a challenge, um, but it's part of the battle for fighting for a better culture is to speak up against it. Now, again, if, if you're very junior, there's very little you're gonna be able to do about it. Um, uh, you know, maybe uh, you can find other people who agree with you and maybe as a group, you can appeal this to, to show that there's a little bit of energy around this. The same, if you're a manager, maybe you can find other managers, show that it's not, you just, you know, it's not just you subjectively opposed to this, but they, there's other people who are, numbers do matter in fights over cultural issues in the culture and in a, in a business. But again, I think the higher up you are in an organization, the more incumbent it is, the more it's your responsibility to speak up and to object. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that, that would be my, uh, my suggestion. Is that, that helpful at all, Phil? Yeah. I mean, I mean, for me, I'm, I'm not junior, but I'm at a very large company. So, I'm, yeah. you know, not, not high enough up to, to like truly shape the culture, you know? Yeah. I mean, it might be worth speaking to your boss and just seeing how, what it is, what it is that how serious they are about this and are they getting any pushback or just to, just to get a sense of where you are relative to everybody else. And it, at some point it might make a sense. It might make sense uh, to leave.
Thanks. Sure. Matt? What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair cynicism and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>